Church Pew about to step forward. Farrow's wine moving in. Gallup Dermace into the starting gate. Junka. Enigmatic moving in. Aralyn will be second last. Twilight Sonata, last of the 12. Twilight Sonata coming up. Steps forward and in. And they're all in line. They're off. Choate was off to an awkward beginning and not a good start for fun-loving either. It is Farrow's wine out for the front. Joined on the outside by Scarlet Miss away running in second. Enigmatic is out third on the outside. Then Moonlight Gambler, fun-loving, trying to recover from that start with Choate. And then it's Aralyn, Watchtower on the far outside, followed by Junka. Church Pew is after that. And then Gallup Der Mace. And at the back of the field is Twilight Sonata. They have six furlongs to run. They make that loop and begin their journey downhill here and enter the five furlong marker with the leader, Enigmatic. Enigmatic has a two-length lead here. It's been a rough trip so far for Fun Loving, who did not have a good start and is very headstrong here and uh, was all the way up into second, but now fourth in behind Pharaoh's Wine and Scarlet Miss on the outside, who's third. A length and a half back to Aralyn alongside of Moonlight Gambler and then choke down toward the inside. They're being followed by Watchtower, who's gaining ground in between horses. Church Pew is next on the outside by two. Then comes Junka, and at the rear of the field, Twilight Sonata and Gallup Der Mace. They went 47.23 for a half mile, and Enigmatic and Florent Giroux will turn for home on the lead here. Still five sixteenths of a mile to run. Enigmatic on the inside is the pacemaker. Pharaoh's wine on the outside now moving up alongside. Aralyn is closing and down the center. It is Moonlight Gambler 2 into the final 16th. Pharaoh's wine hits the front and Pharaoh's wine is moving away here. Pharaoh's wine. An easy win wrapped up over Moonlight Gambler in the end. Then Aralyn and Enigmatic was fourth. 